Wolf. So. Oh, yeah, okay, there <laughs> yeah. it is. <laughs> so game one, gonna go to Pokemon Stadium. I feel like both characters benefit pretty heavily from the platforms. Uh, ZD maybe a little bit more with Fox because Up Smash does hit those platforms, mm -hmm. so he gets a lot of free tech chases on that. And 16 damage off the initial blast here because he got the uh, the, the body hit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The band had uh, the, the sword on the uh, on the blaster, yeah. and K9 just going right Jesus. to work. So nice as I early mentioned, combo. yeah, as I mentioned, that platform going to extend that combo quite heavily, giving K9 an extra like 25 to 30 percent. And so the thing about Wolf versus ZD is ZD is arguably the most experienced person versus Wolf in the world because he has like four in his region. Like first off, he plays Wolf. Second off, Seagull Joe. Third off, um, I think it's uh, what you call it, Dexter. And then there's like one other. I think Wolf player in, in MDBA. So he has a lot of Wolf experience. He's beaten Zachary. He's beaten Tweaks Wolf. So he is super comfortable in this matchup. And as you can see, that first stock lead, even though it, that did start off very strong for K9 ZD, just clutching it out and just figuring it out. It's very methodical. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too flashy, nothing too crazy. Just letting the game come to him and letting K9 come to him, pretty much. That's kind of silly, the fact that the side B pinged with the. <laughs> okay, yep. Here we go. Nair Here's the blunder. Yeah, so much damage. And look at that. Covering the air dodge away, too. And was a pretty good option with the forward smash. Just the very smart new tour coming out from CD to cover. And. Oh. He's fine. He's, I was going to say, where's the downer oh. coming out from K9? And Firefox. Yep. That is fairly easy to two-frame. It won't snap the ledge immediately. It does always have that little flash and that hitbox that will come out. I'm pretty sure I might be wrong about that, but I think that's how it works. Uh, and ZD knowing that, of course, going to get the down smash two-frame because Fox's legs, as I mentioned in the last ZD set, are invincible. Yeah, we saw that in some of his matches uh, yesterday. He's so adept and confident at getting the down smash to two-frame. Yeah. A lot of characters. He just has the timing down. Dash Tech going to clean up that stock, and K9 showing that ZD is just a man. He's not a god. He's able to lose the stock. Yeah. But again, one stock 81 to two stock zero. That's going to be the shine. Yup, not going to be the stock though. Not quite high enough percent for that to work with that back air. He's just putting in so much work. Like ZD is just so strong. Down smash because he doesn't want to stay all the up smash. And that's going to be, nope, didn't get it. Didn't get the tech read that time, but he got that information. He knows uh, K9 might, oh, no nope. tech right there at all. Nothing. JB3, like K9 was up like 70% to like 15% first and then stock, get, and then ZD got JB3. <laughs> then ZD didn't get hit for the rest of the game pretty much. Yeah, ZD, again, just so strong in that neutral versus Wolf. Like you literally saw him just make every right decision right. after that. And it was just, until he had such a big lead where it didn't matter. Right. Like that's kind of what happened, right? He got the download and the route was on. And let's see what adjustment k is able to make. I think mean, K9 as a player, he's always struggled with mindset sometimes when things are not going well. The wheels tend to come off. Let's see, he's able to collect himself, find himself, find an adaptation, make some changes, and maybe bring this right back. Goes right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Maybe feels that it was him, that was the problem, not the stage. Goes right into it. I mean, the thing about Wolf in general, there's a few characters that have existed throughout Smash's history that they, you, they're like, they're so strong that they can be played in a plethora of ways. And Wolf is definitely one of them. So the first stock and first game especially are always going to be a little bit more difficult versus Wolf because you don't know their fair timings, their nair timings, how often they blaster, how right. they recover. Uh, so ZD, you know, it does take a little bit, and that was the first stock for him last game. And just kind of, even in this game, I feel like, again, K9 starting off really, really strong. I mean, obviously, K9 an amazing player, so is able to adapt as long as he's, you know, figuring out what K or rather what ZD is doing to him. Yeah. So, oh, but that dash tag, just calling out the fact that he's going to not hold that shield. Gets the extra laser. Yeah, he has him off stage, and k in a little bit of trouble. Very confident grab on that option off the stage, and he's down there after him. Oh, nice man. Oh, tried to go for the slight angle, but as I mentioned, it's really difficult first off, and then got pineapple, unfortunately. So K9 saying, hey, man, it took me the whole game to get the first dock off ZD. Now I got it first. Well, let's go. Yeah, more human the lane. This is a best of five, so he's able to, um, you know, we're working out on winter semis, of course. Ooh. So good. That was beautiful knowing he was going to try to do that. Uh, I don't know what Wolf's side B is called. The side B on stage. <laughs> uh, Let's see if K9's able to hold it together and not let ZD make that same run that he made the last game. It's uh, momentum, but it's almost looking like a repeat. ZD's got the download, picking every right option. Gets the neutral air. K9's in trouble right above the Fox. And oh, here's the blender. And of course, that parry, as I mentioned, ZD. One of the best pairs in the world. Tried to fish for that back there, but unfortunately for ZD, it actually just whiffed. Like, K9 did it too high, so it's not going to land its mark. But wow. those double up airs, because of those platforms, are going to land their mark and kill. So again, what a strong answer from ZD after that first stock. And K9 looking for an answer to battle back. And Ooh. oh no, uh, here the wheels are starting to get turning for ZD again. This is uh, unfortunate. 
K9 didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world has been turning for ZD. Always coming out super strong out of the gate uh, in Smash Ultimate. Has been so, so good even from the beginning of this game. And he is showing no signs of slowing down, especially, you know, in Summit as well. So he's going to get a lot of that good super top level experience. God. God. Oh, I thought that was the back, back air. Yeah. I was like, hold, because it's the same sound effect. Yeah, if it was the back air, it probably would have been over for K9. Yeah. Ooh, for misses sure. that. And, uh, okay, there's a get up attack in that situation. It's kind of the first time I've seen. Not a lot of people in that tech situation have been throwing out an attack. They've been always rolling. And yeah. Those, the foxes have been scouting it like it's melee, pretty much. Yeah. Ooh, running down smash for ZD. Interesting neutral option. Uh, maybe try to be a down tilt because down tilt will combo into up air at this percent, especially if you DI in. The dash attack going to try to get another jump read. Oh, oh, that could have been the stock, unfortunately, for K9 because that could have been a spike super low. I'm not going to get it. Forward throw. Uh, low up. Is that going to be the downer? No, it's not. Not going to hit that. Uh, that edge guard, not he's not. Uh, what's what's his face? Uh, Zachary, I'm the worst. I like Zachary. I like Zachary too. So me forgetting his name is terrible. He's got he's got his opportunity. Let's see if he's able to find himself another one. But ZD on the hunt to close us out. You see the Ooh. up smash coming. Oh out. wow! Big plays coming out from Keenan, clutching up. Went all the way right. out there with that back air. He drifted so far. That was a really committal back air. Like if he missed that, uh, he might have just got like shined and died. So like that was really really kind of just ballsy. For, yeah. for K9, but ended up paying off. He had, you know, he had been starting that match working from, you know, the ledge trap game. Finally, towards the end of that second game, was starting to throw out the more edge guard options instead. And then he went super deep, like super rogue back here, yeah. going out there after him. So but I'm not gonna go out like this. We're gonna make it one one. Let's make a set of it. Yeah, and I didn't notice where ZD went. I think he went like battlefield. Time to learn. Oh, I literally always like I'm never paying attention because I forget that like stages happen first. I'm just like, oh characters. Like sometimes I'll even ban stage and they'll be like la di da and then I'm like Pikachu and I'm like, wait, where'd they go? Right. Like it's just it's a bad habit for Ultimate just because of the way the uh you know the, the selecting works in this game, which granted is better overall, but I just always forget. I don't know, man. I'm waiting for Nintendo to pass so that you know you can salty run back and uh, not have to pick your characters over again. Well I think that's just putting the <laughs> putting the uh the game to first to like X wins, which you can do in the more options uh -huh. setting. So like I do first to fives in with my setup. Poisonly. But anyway, starting off actually really even, because uh, a lot of the games, or K9 pulled away at the beginning, but now it's already like super even from the start, like both of them just trading blows at the very beginning. Uh, ZD actually saw the flash of that up smash, but not going to hit its mark. That one is, though, but Wolf going to be the heaviest of the space. He's not going to die quite yet. Yeah, good the uh, K9's part to keep himself alive and keep him right in it. Ooh. As ZD off stage, see if he picks it up. Good Ooh, neutral air. I like that. Here we go. Down air. Stuff really zip. Nice. Slam yeah. dunk. Smart stuff by K9, but again, that first stock might not necessarily matter as ZD has just been so good at pulling these back. Let's see if he's able to answer or if K9 can get some decent percent because I feel like if he gets some decent percent, that is going to be a different feeling set uh, for K9. And ZD, of course, on the hunt. You can see there's a uh, he's looking for that neutral or confirm. It might even be past the percent where it actually oh. works, but you don't need to confirm. We just get the raw up smash. Narrow up smash always works unless you DI like <laughs> up and out. But no one, it's so scared to DI up and out because if you get hit by that back air, you're just gonna oh right. down air. Down air as a move doesn't really work too well for Fox, unfortunately. But also he's already kind of good, so we don't need it. But like you know, who tried to go for that nair? Not gonna hit ZD drifting in, knowing that he's like, hey, I'm against a wolf. I just have to go to ledge sometimes. You can't really challenge his hitboxes sometimes. But again, continuing afterwards to try to challenge his hitboxes, and uh, K9's winning those trades, just like I said. Ooh, yeah, beautiful jump sand, read. But uh, ZD making a little run of it, close to quite a bit of percentage here. Do you see that F smash that just barely got hit by that Nair by K9? That would have been a huge statement, but unfortunately that statement cut short by K9 and is up. Oh, that could have been an up smash out of shield. That probably would have been stock. Back throw not quite enough to kill, but now that grab's going to be in play as a kill option. Oh, man, he almost followed that up with the back air. Ooh, yeah. I love the parries from ZD. Yeah, this kind of has a read on the landing patterns and the aerial patterns coming out from K9. Might have to mix some stuff up just to try to get, you know, mix ZD up. Maybe some empty landing, something Ooh. like that. God. ZD just calling out all these jumps when he's, like, able to. Like, I think he's hit K9 for, like, three or four of this stock. So just playing super solid neutral. Obviously, both characters have a plethora of kill options right now. Wolf having a little more considering he has a kill throw. But, okay, forward tilt. No, goes yeah, for the roll throw. in. Okay, getting the back throw because you can't just do the run through pivot grab anymore due to the fact that you cannot run through your opponents. But that up smash going to go right through K9, and it's going to make us an even game in this game three. Last stock apiece. Yeah, pivotal stock. Uh, whoever takes this one, they're going to be in the, in the driver's seat for the set coming into four and five. So... Both of them don't want to be at the disadvantage coming into the later games. And 
and they're back and forth, and so far, K9 oh. almost opened up CD right there. And it's always scary, whoever, you know, Wolf Forwarder or Fox, Fox is up to, or, you know, which one's going to come out first. Ooh, down tilt, going to trade with the grab, going to confirm his ZD, 70% on K9. Oh, but the beautiful actually fights back in the air with that Nair, does K9, and again, that Nair proving crucial, not going to hit that force match, that was a bit ambitious. Considering ZD has been drifting back to the ledge pretty much every time he's been hit. Oh, but that down smash so close to hitting because that like two frames kind of for free in this game. So that could have easily been the game. K9 going to force him back off stage. Trying to get a jump in with that back air. Not going to land its mark. ZD very patient in the corner knowing that he can't run it or he can't rush that. Otherwise he will get punished. So now just playing really solid with just his dashes. Oh, that back air. Not the sweet spot though. So it's not going to kill for K9. But he's off stage. What's going to happen? Yeah, could maybe let him get back a little bit for free. Not a lot of pressure from K9 coming out. Maybe just kind of gathering himself for the exchanges to come. Ooh. Okay, so again, I feel like another potential missed up smash opportunity, There's but the Nair, there. that's going to kill. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it kind of seems like a conditioning situation where K9 will play it very passively in the early stocks, but when it comes time to checkmate his opponent, he's off stage. We saw a back air game two, and then we got the neutral air game three, and he's in the advantage, actually, of making an upset. Yeah, he's getting closer, yeah. and again, ZD, it's not like this is a matchup thing. It's not like this is even a, a player. Well, I guess, I mean, right now it is a player thing. Because, yeah. again, ZD taking out some of the strongest Wolves, having so, so much experience, as I mentioned. So K9 is just outplaying him right. straight up. Although, I do, the, admittedly, a lot of the Foxes do think that Wolf wins due to the fact that it is a bit easier for Wolf to kill. Uh, his arrows are stronger. He has that down smash, crazy two-frame. Like, Fox does have, um, you know, Nair up smash, but, like, how often are you going to not shield that Nair? Right. Okay, nice right. backer dash attack. Got Nair. the wheels turning and uh, some big damage coming out from ZD. Even more. And oh my god. Z, uh, he, he keeps <laughs> reading these jumps. Like, you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, he's just he's stuffing out all the jumps in neutral. K9 thinks that he has a read on the, in the neutral situation. It's like, oh, ZD beat me to the spot every single time. Ooh, gonna miss that mark on that back air, but not gonna get punished too hard for it. Gets back to center. Nair up smash. Yup. Oh. There it is. That's a good confirm. That's existed in like every Smash game. It's kind of the first time ZD's really gotten out to an early lead in the set. And let's see if he's able, you know, what the difference is he's able to navigate the rest of the uh, game playing with the lead instead of playing from behind. Yeah, and already getting so much percent. Missing that uh, up air, unfortunately, but not going to get punished on that trump. Fox still has one of the highest trumps in the whole game, so it's super difficult to punish, especially if he holds in. And yeah, already lapping K9, 87%. I love that little laser just for the extra percent. God, I feel like got that read on the neutral. Got a bow just a little too slow. Another back throw. And uh, K9 hasn't hit him in a while. Okay, there it is. Yeah, eventually, you know, K9 was going to have to get one. I have yet to see a J before in this game. Uh, you'll probably have to wait a little bit, a, a while for that. Unless you get some, like, you know, really fat character. Ooh, <laughs> there. down smash. Again, going to be able to get that two frame on that side B. Wolf side B. Again, pretty abusable. Nice dash attack to punish. Because yeah. at the very least, I don't. Uh, you know, some characters might not be able to punish that down smash, but he at least does lose his turn. Right. Ooh. And, uh,. ZD kind of, so far this game, just reminding Ooh. K9, he knows this matchup pretty well. Yeah, is he going to like return this around with a free stock? <laughs> like, I mean, you know he got a JB3 game one, but like, damn. Like, how are you going to lose last hit and then get a potential three stock this game? Forward tilt, you know, I don't think, no one wants to get three stock, right? Like, that's a, that's a bad feeling. Oh, read that, I feel like just reacted a little slowly and does get the yeah. three stock. ZD's nuts. Yo. And here's the real test for K9. That's probably got to be the loneliest chair in the venue right now. Yeah, you're looking pretty good up 2-1, about to, you know, poised to make the upset. And all of a sudden, the wheels came off game four. He's got to dig deep, find the heart of the king of the smash, and see if he can't bring it back for game five. ZD, on the flip side, probably really comfortable, has so much momentum now running in from game four. But at the same time, you know, even if you get one of those big wins, you cannot let that get to your head. You're not like, oh, right. this is free. Like, I mean, sometimes you can, but against talented players such as, you know, both of these players, but in this specific instance, K9, uh, you really can't assume anything is free because uh, no one's at that level to just completely shut down other high-level players, right. except, like, maybe Leo. And K9 uh, counterpicking Town and City, throwing some platforms into the mix. Also, I mean, the higher ceiling a little bit too. Yup, that's the big thing. It's the higher ceiling, so now Fox is going to have even more trouble killing because two of those kills that game were vertical. The only a horizontal being that down smash, which would have killed it, you know, those type of percents anyway. But a lot of Wolf's kills are going to be horizontal with that back throw, with that down smash, with those forward tilt, with that forward smash. Uh, really, the only vertical kill being that uh, up smash out of shield, but that's not going to be your main kill move anyway. Yeah, especially not against Fox being so pretty much safe on shield for a lot of things. Yeah. Oop, dash attack. 
the reflector coming out to edge guard against the or, or to to prevent the edge guard coming out from K9. Let's see what he's able to do. Very good. Uh, not even really an empty lane, just a kind of a caught him in shield, a little scared. Ooh, beautiful read on that timing for K9. Doesn't get that nair, but is gonna try to get that dare, but no, unfortunately misses it and gets oh, stage spike. That is that's the worst. Like not only do you not get the edge guard, that's pretty much guaranteed, but then you die for it. Like this should be technically three stocks to two for K9. You know, he missed the opportunity to get that extra credit. But uh at the same time you're like, okay, well the unfortunate thing happened. Let's just keep going. And a good neutral air to interrupt that combo that K9 was trying to get started. And he's still going with it. Oh, oh not be the a platform kill. that killed! And the counter pick working against K9. That's, That's so, so unfortunate. unfortunate. Oh, but the downer. Oh, grab the ledge by accident. That actually cost me a game versus light yesterday. Haha. Huh. <laughs> ha. Um, but so K9 is gonna have to play super solid because now ZD up almost a whole stock. I mean, Wolf does obviously has the tools to bring it back, and he obviously is right now. Ooh, finally, ZD gets some damage on this board. Ooh, gets the parry. Doesn't get the second hit of that up air to combo, but that's going to be a shield poke. Yep, I was literally about to say his shield looking kind of small from on top, and already has 64%, no jump, 73. That Nair not going to get the kill, though. And you saw ZD doing a great Ooh. job winning the boxing game, but got a haymaker coming out from K9, and he put himself right within striking distance, only 73% to make up. It's a, it's a long mountain to climb, but it's doable for Wolf. Yeah, I think maybe like one or two more hits and then their up smash will confirm and kill for Fox. But again, Wolf so much damage, so solid in the neutral game. He can just technically just win neutral over and over again. Like that is not unheard of. Get an edge guard potentially. That's going to be that grab forward air 20%. Let's see if he can tack on more. Oh. No! Gets hit for doing a laser and that is going to be the up smash. Two unfortunate stocks that